Testing one, two, testing one, two. Hello. How goes everyone? Um, it's Friday already. <laughs> Audio is good. Yeah, the song still isn't there for some reason. I'm trying to figure out why. Cause I I put it I put it back. The source is like what's missing. Um, trying to fix my contact. I think there's just like an eyelash that's like disagreeing with me. <laughs> Before I change the scene. Oh, it was playing. It was playing. Baleth was playing. Somebody told me the other day that it wasn't there, and I thought that I fixed it, but maybe I just had my channel muted. I don't know. So the Banshee's already in, um, it's kind of dark in here, obviously. If you guys want me to, like, fucking shine a light on it, I will. I'll, let me spotlight it. Yeah, you love it. She's already in it. She's already saying thank you. Yeah, this is your bit. Go for it, girl. You tell everybody. There's all kinds of cat drugs in there. Yeah. And 500 followers. Isn't that cute? She does. She's been laying in it this, like, ever since we put it together, ever since it was assembled. Yeah? Are you going to take a nap now? Hmm? Early pop. Oh, I think we're back to sparse Fridays. Um, got some soju, but I really don't have like a lot of fun stuff in my fridge. <laughs> Uh, hi. Hello. I got a few touch-ups in my eyes. <laughs> um, so a couple of my friends are probably responsible for a few extra follows, so we made it to 500 followers. Um, that means that I have to work my ass off and put together a real Mr. Sinister gender bend cosplay. And so this is like just what I found in my apartment. This is literally just what I already had in my wardrobe. Um, Old Ben Scavenger and Maverick, I think, were responsible for um, the contact. And then, yes, I am currently sporting the, bra the bracers as well. Um, so I was just trying to incorporate just a couple of <laughs> extra things. Um, try to try to put some some leather on the gracers, grace you with her presence. No, um, never doing that again. So, anyway, <laughs> uh, exe dot exe has crashed. Look at those guns. I might I might have a little bit of strength behind them, you know. There might be something there. <laughs> uh, you guys are more than welcome to do some blood buff redeems if you want to. That would be uh, kettlebells. Um, I was going to share with you that I'm not going to do it until the, the Thronathon is actually initiated, but I do also have sandbags. So uh, where the fuck did I put it? in the way okay so in all technicalities i don't know how much this redeem is going to be for um but if you guys can see this is a brute force sandbag it goes uh up to the capacity of 80 pounds it's got handles on all sides you can grab it pretty much anywhere and it continues um, so that movement is always fun. 
you guys have never tried a sandbag, they're difficult, but they're not frustrating. And what I mean by not frustrating is like you're picking up a heavyweight and uh, you, you're putting it down also. The only thing is that since it has sort of an asymmetrical resistance to it, you have to conform all of your muscle strength to also stabilizing. So stabilizing is obviously really important, but you want to do redeems for some snatches. Those would be a Thronathon exclusive. Sounds like a good workout. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Queen is happy. <laughs> You're having an effect on <laughs> really, really that that I'm having an effect. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I have so much to offer. Hi, Gigi. It's going. It's going. We uh successfully made it to 500 followers. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like it was fast track. I feel like that was really fast. I feel like. That's anomalous. I think I think that doesn't really happen. So, like, part of me is sort of in disbelief, and part of me is like just pushing to be like, okay, great, just like be your performative self and do the thing, and you know. But gonna do what are the gray? I got my hair touched up. It's not gonna be blue forever. This is actually a toner, and so what you have to do to maintain this like cool icy blonde thing that I've got going on is that you actually have to kind of eradicate all the other existent colors in your hair. And so this is actually toner as opposed to hair dye. So it's going to come out really fast. It's not supposed to be blue, <laughs> but I liked it. I liked it. It's a wonderful contrast to the, the eyes today. Thank you, Tucka. Yeah, I think it's only been six months. That's a half a year. That's a half a year. That's incredible. Um, I owe a lot of it to my friends. I do, you know, if they weren't hyping me up like this entire way, um, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> if I didn't have any encouragement, if I didn't have anybody kind of showing me the way, they were educating me without even. You know, they were just like, this is how you do it. Um, you know, sometimes I ask questions, but I also kind of like just I'm a quick learner from just being observing. <sighs> Six months. Yeah. Yep. A lot of a lot of my friends have been doing this since like COVID began. Right. So like, you know, two years at least for something to really hit and like. Sometimes, like, you know, you can you can hit a gold rush and, and then dry up really, really fast. So in terms of, like, you know, consistency, and I guess they said that, like, activity is important, right? Your interactions. Um, so, so people interacting with your things is better reinforcement than, you know, so many people trafficking the area that you just happen to pop up in. It's a little bit different. So it's really cool that like a community is forming people who who s stay for maybe something that's a little less orthodox. It's not always humor and it's not always. Maverick. Well, shit. <laughs> is that for the Strahd? Is that for Strahd? <laughs> the Strahd have red eyes like this, too. Technically, if I try to give myself some facial hair and do some like drag to try to do Dracula, well, it, my hair is still dark. Technically, if I, I touched up the darkness or the dark parts too, so if I just flip my hair over, it, I already have black at my disposal. It's already mostly black. Could do the, I could do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> my ladies. My lady, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna do word of the gray as we do. Banshee, do you wanna say hi? 
Are you gonna just hop up? Can you hop up here? Maybe we should try to make this like a thing. Okay. No, this is Uppies. She she did a twirl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, big and scary has a frou frou cat. <laughs> we all love her though. I love her. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you know, you, I feel like Fridays are a roulette, you know? Sometimes, like, nobody's around because everybody's going out or everyone's together in a different space or everybody's streaming all at once, shit like that. So, you know... You had to shave it all? Oh, no. Don't like it. I don't think, you know, if, like, if I was masked, like, if I was, I feel like I would really try to try very hard to sport some crazy-ass Maverick. <laughs> I hope it's only $5. <laughs> I love the, the little pop-ups, though. That's so fun. Um... <laughs> Like, I feel like anxiety and concern and then excitement in that order. Um, the hell was I saying? I was saying something. Be clean. Oh, no. So my dad, um, I got, I was gifted my dad's, like, luscious, like, thick hair, luckily. So genetics were on my side when it comes to, um, like, hair growth and stuff so if I if I was a man I would likely have just full beard waxed mustache just like my dad like just he had like the villain curls and his mustache just like Eldridge does only his was like full like he had to wax the whole thing it was it's crazy maybe eventually I'll show a picture of him since he's deceased <laughs> but that's a that's tentative that's tentative look at you you're changeling okay go on your pedestal i think that's why if they want to anchor it to the wall not fully stable without, huh? How about you take a nap in your coffin? How about, how about that? How about that? I spiritually identify as a dwarf. <laughs> She's the ancient. Interesting. Dig in a hole. Dig in a hole was like a traumatic experience for me because it was like a... I'm not going to bring that up. <laughs> it wasn't that traumatic. It just was like something that was definitely not entertaining. Not even in the slightest. Not even a little bit. Okay, so there's three elements with the kettlebell redeems. Welcome, new follower, Bobby Bob XB Alt Two. Did you know that lemons aren't a natural fruit? No, they're a they're like a hybrid tree. Did you know that bananas are no longer like the same genus of banana that started the whole plant species? <laughs> okay all right i'm getting one thing at a time gray one thing at a time i have decided that cooking with gray will be on sunday and i feel like i should have put out more flyers but tell your friends tell your friends that you guys are all welcome in my kitchen on sunday um i was gonna originally do a poll to have you guys decide what would be better 
but I think that I would just end up being more comfortable in my kitchen in general if I just brought something to the table, um, regardless if anybody's going to eat it or not, because I think you guys are there for the entertainment as opposed to maybe like nutritional education. I'll go off on tangents, trust me, once I'm in my kitchen, but um, I'm going to need Saturday for grocery shopping because I'm going to need some fucking wine. I'm going to need to know what kind of tunes are going to be like not muted so we can have some music playing in the background. I wish I could do some fucking dark jazz. I fucking love dark jazz. <sighs> But we'll see. We'll see what we can get away with. We should do like a test, like a tester. Between an orange and a citron, right? Yeah, there were a crossbreed of, of two different trees pollinating, I want to say. Uh, over and over and over again, and I think the majority of all of the lemon trees that are marketed, most of them, I don't know if this is a myth, but I think that Sicilian lemons are like the most expensive because they're like that's where the genus originates from for certain lemons. I actually was gonna try to grow a lemon tree like in here because, um, my. <laughs> When I was younger, as a kid, we actually, um, we had this pot of dirt because my, my parents had a lot of plants. And um, my, my sibling and I would always put the seeds of our fruit in the pots to test out if they would actually grow or not. Um, and we started an apple tree, and we also started a bonsai orange tree. And it was actually, like, it was, it was blossoming fruit. Um, the only problem was that, like, the fruit was so small that they were so sour, you would just pucker it. It tasted basically like straight-up citric acid. But we had little little oranges growing out of this tiny pot tree. It was so cute. It was so cute. Man, you know more about fruit than I do. <laughs> That's for sure. I just like to eat it. What's this? Ooh. Ooh. You guys want one that hurts this time? Maybe, possibly, probably. Okay. Um, foil sick, and it is so dark in here, and I have a film over my eyes. So pardon me, my need for the flashlight again. This is what happens when you come to Gray's lair. Foil sick, F O I L S I C K. It is an adjective, um, describing uh feeling ashamed after revealing a little too much of yourself to someone. Allowing them to too clear of a, a view of your pettiness, your anger, your cowardice, your childlike vulnerabilities. Wishing you could somehow take back that moment, discreetly bolting the door after the storm um, that had already blown off the hinges. So that is like the ultimate reveal of being like, oh, fuck, I've said too much. Right. I can feel that. I feel like that's relevant. I feel like that's relevant. Thank you for the verbatim, Gigi. Um, you would not believe this has been like every single day. Um, and there's some people that are actually taking down all these definitions. And we've got people sometimes, uh, usually Dr. Norp, when he is present, he also does verbatim. So there's, there's people posting it. And uh, it's so cool. It's so great. Um, these words have weight. They really mean stuff. Um, and uh, a couple of people, I guess, uh, were left face on the floor from some of these. So if these words are power and powerful enough to floor you, then uh, I was happy to deliver. Okay, so. I'm 
from a couple of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, how about chat? If you can, I know I tried this once before, but I want to try it again. I want to try it again. Okay. Put in chat. Legitimately, I want you to write it out if you can, if you have fingers. Um, a word of the gray. You don't need to write down the verbatim. You don't need to write down the verbatim at all. But a word that stuck with you. Maybe if you didn't write it in a sentence, but maybe something that you remember. I want to see what they are. And I hope that there's at least one that I remembered that really everybody can identify with here as a gamer. Well, that's that's one of them. Up, oh, Jamal's got the one I was hoping for, so that's awesome. You guys can keep going. That's two. I'm making an impact. <laughs> that's two out of twenty-one. Um, if you guys are typically lurkers, there's no obligation to ever participate. You guys don't have to do anything for me to enjoy your presence here. So thank you. You are always welcome in the darkness. On tender hooks, yeah, and Sonder and Ringlorn, those are all very good ones. But on tender hooks is like the one that stuck with me all year so far. Nictophile, that's a that's a yes. I don't even know if I kept that one in my ludiosis. Yes, sorry, this is good. This is good stuff for me. This is good for me. It's going to go with Ringlorn and on tender hooks. It's okay if you guys overlap. You know, you're still, I'm still counting you with it. I don't know. It's okay, Jaffa. It's okay. I don't even remember that one. That one's a good one. I forgot how to pronounce that. <laughs> Nasine? What's the origin? What's the origin, GG? Is it in front of you? Do you have a copy? I feel like I should get you a copy. I should. Oh, you don't remember any. That's okay. That's okay. Some people don't retain words. Like, even if it's a form of entertainment of being like, huh, I didn't know that before. Not everybody clings to them. Not everybody holds on to them. Not everybody. And if you're not one of those people, like, don't feel bad for not holding on to words. Some people hold on to numbers. Some people hold on to experiences. It's just a way that you process life. and. Um, I've just been an English, <laughs> I've been an English major so long that it's literally like my composite being is, uh, composition and words. That catharsis is just so, um, often addicting. I don't have my own copy. Okay. Well, don't get your own copy so I can get one for you. <laughs> You have anxiety, you hold on to trauma. Mudovich. <laughs> oh boy. I think I think we all might do that a little bit. I think I was uh, in denial for the longest time of ever having anxiety. You know, a lot of people think like I'm super, super chill, but like there's nothing that really like gets gray, right? Um, it that's sort of a thing, you know. Gray's the rock. Gray's the warrior. Gray's the the one that's gonna beat the shit out of somebody if there's a problem. Like that's sort of the vibe. But like having anxiety, it's like some people who have anxiety, it's completely invisible. And I feel like maybe sometimes introverted people can hide it really well. And sometimes extroverted people can hide it very well because extroverted people are very good with charisma, right? Um, they, they can bend their face and their stature to accommodate the situation at hand, the scenario, right? And, and withstand that just like anybody else can. Those masks stay on um, for as long as necessary until you can get home or find a place to shed, right? Um, but like sometimes like anxiety, right? Seems very obvious. People are trying to stop something from happening or people are trying to communicate in a way that, um, uh, might be, uh, you know, 
just unusually um, animated, right? Very animated of being like, this is really concerning me right now, or I can't handle this, or I'm at my threshold, or it's not, you know? Um, all the anxiety that I was experiencing was like internalized anxiety where like, you know, your body doesn't want to move and your lungs don't want to breathe air and your stomach doesn't want to eat food and, you know, and you don't think those things are anxiety. You just think that's the the human mind and the human body toiling. It, it you know, it could be that or it could be anxiety. <laughs> as soon as it has a name. Maybe you can quell it a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong, but but I think everybody has anxiety in this era, whether they choose to diagnose themselves with it or not. It's like a stick. It's a stigma. It's like a pandemic of subliminal anxiety and depression in everyone because society isn't working properly. But that's controversial. That's a controversial opinion. But I think everybody is, to some extent, distraught over conditions, <laughs> trying to do their very best, having a lot of worries. Thank, thank you for saying that. Mm -hmm. Used to think it was fear. Well, that's the thing, right? Like. It was hard for me to determine for myself and actually be self-aware of the fact that anxiety was the thing that was happening because I was just so, um, I was so built up. I was, um, I was, I was a very, I had very thick walls. I didn't really want to show anything to anyone. Not very Pisces of me. <laughs> um, I just like learned to hide it, and. Uh, but eventually what it also started to look like was like kind of like spacey um, disassociation, right? Paralysis, where it would just like sort of stop moving. I wouldn't say anything. And you're like, okay, well, like they're fine, right? They don't have anything to say. They don't have anything to express. They don't want to engage. They don't have to engage, but they're fine. And um, I don't know. So my anxiety sometimes just looks like this. <laughs> As opposed to like freaking out about stuff. So I think if it can be that transparent in myself, that it could be transparent in anybody that would have a facade in place to convince themselves or others that they don't have anxiety, that they aren't. A qual they don't have qualms, that they aren't worrying about everything, that they um, are perfect. <laughs> right? But humans are flawed. Hello, Holly. Greetings. Thank you for being one of my 500 followers. Thank you all for being <laughs> one of my 500 followers. It's only six months, only six months to get here. That's crazy. I think, um, first of all, we need a new goal. And we can maybe do two goals. We should think of some goals because, I don't know, uh, we, we, there's only <laughs> moving forward, right? Um, I want to appreciate every single person that chose to actually like come back and be a part of my audience on a regular basis. Uh, not knowing really anything about me, but at least choosing to be curious. Um, and maybe perhaps being pleasantly surprised at my offering. Um, but yeah, we, I don't have any uh, ideas outside of actually trying to put myself to work for that new cosplay idea. I'm going to have to have a little bit of time to actually incorporate shoulder pauldrons, um, kind of like leathery, almost like duct tape sleeves. Um, you know, whether or not I'm, I'm purchasing items. I, I already looked, and I'm pretty sure that this seems like self-assembly for a Mr. Sinister cosplay. If you guys don't know Mr. Sinister, he is one of the most evil characters in the X-Men series. 
I think that he arrived in Uncanny X Men so many decades ago. Um, he was like a mad scientist that um, had a lot of tragedy in his life, Dr. Essex. And um, with all of that tragedy, he had lost two sons and a wife and sort of became rather mad um, with the obsession of encountering Apocalypse, another one of the most powerful villains in the X-Men series. I have not seen it. I have not seen 97. I don't know anything about it yet, I think. Unless 97 is like, like the old one. Did they reboot the old one? Is that what's happening? I haven't seen the new... I haven't seen the new 97. No spoilers. Anyway, so... Um, uh, Dr. Essex meets up with Apocalypse, I think, potentially gets some sort of riddle and or prophecy um, of, of becoming a powerful entity um, to prevent the apocalypse, basically, and the apocalypse in his eyes, not apocalypse, but like the demise of all mankind and mutant kind alike, um, will be uh, one of the most powerful mutants there are and that would be the off the future offspring of Jean Grey and um Cyclops so and I have a personal vendetta of, of absolutely hating Cyclops in every comic I've read so I would love to embody destroying him <laughs> um he's not featured very much and apparently like I guess he's not well known because every time I mention Mr. Sinister everybody's like oh you know X-Men I'm like, my hair has been like this because of Rogue since, like, sixth grade. I've had this signature because Rogue was my nickname. <laughs> I know you like Cyclops because he's a cup. <laughs> he's a crybaby. <laughs> Thinks he's the hero and the lover. But he's really just mediocre. <laughs> and he destroys everything. And he was only powerful when he had the Phoenix Force in him. And that's like Jean Grey basically just died to give it to him, right? I like Storm too. I do like Storm. I like Psylocke. Um, I like Beast. I like Nightcrawler. I love... Um, I'm going to say it wrong. Oh my God, he's Russian. He's Russian, he's steel. Um, Colossus. I love Colossus. And I loved Deadpool for a little while. And I loved Ryan Reynolds for a little while because he played Hannibal King in Blade and no other reason. But Ryan Reynolds, out. I don't care anymore. His bit like lasted too long, I think. And now he's just a business guy that like gets whatever he wants. I know, Soundlander. I know. Isn't that incredible? I'm sorry. I went off on like a random tangent about how I don't like don't care about Deadpool anymore. Fight me. Go ahead. Fight me. I loved him because he broke the fourth wall until he broke the fourth wall too many times, and like that bit continues and continues and continues until it gets annoying. And you're like, okay, yeah, how long are you going to be the annoying character? It's the same, I mean, you know. But I love the, I love the Deadpool game. I love the Deadpool game. It takes a person to really just like favorite Deadpool though because he's broken on purpose. He's, he's broken. He's fucked. <laughs> he's supposed to be breaking the system and being like the antithesis of every typically, like, typically written character. Regardless of his tragedies, he's the funny guy. Regardless of his tragedies, he's always going to win. Regardless of his tragedies, he's cracked. <laughs> because he's a science experiment. And like that joke just keeps going and going and going. Hello, bunnies. Hey, Jamaz, I feel like I answered that question before. But maybe like I didn't answer it well enough because I'm not a very direct person. As soon as somebody asks me a question, I've realized that I like kind of do this banter thing where I will eventually get 
to the answer by telling a story first. It's awful. It's awful. Um, so I like both. And I think that Uncanny X-Force was the closest. Like, well, I feel like he he's better off on like a, in a close knit team as opposed to everybody wants him to be the loner. And like his attitude is like, yeah, but so was Gambit and Rogue. And like they were, don't get me started. They were ultimately fucked in all the live actions so badly that like either they're going to get their own movie or they're going to probably try to incorporate them into Miss Marvel. And if they don't even incorporate it with Miss Marvel, I will be fucking pissed because Rogue is the individual that puts that bitch in a coma. So. Um, so in terms of like anti-heroes or like flawed heroes right the ones that are like supposed to be alone because they have too many issues to be socially uh adept enough to be a part of a team i like wolverine alone but every superhero could be isolated because my favorite character my favorite characters in X-Men are usually the ones that branch off and never stay with the team. Um, Rogue was too complicated for that. Jean Grey was too complicated for that. Even though like she was incorporated in a lot of stuff, she tried to be a part of the team. She tried to really just stay there, but like her Phoenix force was too complicated for that. Um, Gambit was too complicated for that. So, we're, you know, they could all branch off and have their own individual stories. That's too easy. So putting Wolverine in a team makes for a better story only because I feel like it would be a cop out to put him in where he's most comfortable and that's being alone. Um, we kind of get the full spectrum of him. So I prefer a lot of campaigning stories and not team base, right? You want to isolate each character and experience them. Oh, there's got to be an eyelash or something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Tried to, you know, it's extra, extra black and goth and, you know, I, I tried. You guys can actually see a lot of my, um, a lot of my tattoos today. There it is. In its entirety. Oh, they look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Am I a fan of magic? Um, I don't really think I read into her very much. I read about Nyx and I read about Rogue. I did, I read a lot of Legacy. I read the Legacy series and then I did Uncanny X Force with like Psylocke and Deadpool. I think Jubilee was in a couple of them. And then they did a short run of X-Men now. And I don't really know if I liked it. I was just kind of neutral. But it was like all the all the femmes were in the same comic book. So they put Storm and Rogue and Shadowcat and Jubilee and Psylocke and like all of the women in one comic and like left all the men out. So... I don't know. I thought that one was like a little bit weird. And then I think I branched away from X-Men just because I was so upset with what Marvel was doing that like, you know, they like at the time, just like the cinematic universes and what they did with some of the live action X-Men movies. I was just like, what are you doing? We're spending more time ruining this even harder, fucking up the timeline to try to get all of these like different licenses to fucking work with one another. Why did you break them up in the first place? Get your fucking licenses in check and put all of the X-Men that were supposed to be in the fucking movies in the movies at the same age in the same timeline. Before you start fucking with the timeline, because those comics are so vast that if you don't really know the original content, how are you going to respect the rest of it? 
everybody's gonna be so fucking confused and everybody was confused they were like where is this character and where is this character and why is this character a different actor now and why 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 it's like anyway sorry <laughs> is jubilee still a vampire i don't know i don't know am i going to die today what do you mean what did i say to trigger that oh my gosh guys i thought that i fixed it i might have to go upstairs and fix my eye Okay, for right now. Did I miss any redeems? Did I? I did. A book recommendation. Okay. Well, we were talking about all my comics are upstairs. Okay, let's do a poll. I wonder if Will is present. I don't. I don't see Will. Oh, I do see Will. Will. The little bell. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. I'll do it. Okay, we're gonna do a poll. I am AFK. Got you. I got it. Don't worry. Okay. All right, two minute timer, putting it on. Here's the recommendation options. Um, if you guys vote for it, I will show you my comics box. So I can do a book recommendation or I can show you the comics that I still own and didn't sell off. Now, I'm not gonna say that I did this for very long because I realized that it was not a lucrative form of equity to be buying comic issues by the issue and just wait for the print to come out to get the book if I really enjoyed the content and the artwork of, of each artist that that um, conducted whatever they you know were um, I know I have Sandman up there and I know that I have Descender and I think I have Castlevania um, did you say Belle I know I did say Belle I did say Belle but I was joking I was joking Thank you, Dr. Norm. Thank you. And congrats to Chad for making it happen. I know. Thank you to, man, can we? Hmm. If any of them pop in, we'll definitely do shout outs. But um, recently I've gotten a lot, a lot, a lot of cross hype from um, Queen of Vikings, Sass Grimoire, Vaughn Necros. You guys know these people, but they've, they've actively been really like promoting me. Um, you know, without me asking any favors, they're just like, this shit's cool. So that's really awesome that I have friends like that. Maisie, Maisie's been blowing me up. Um, Doob Doob's been blowing me up. Um, Eldritch, author, has been blowing me up. So, so I have a lot of really good friends, a lot of good streaming friends that are like, you know what, check this chick out. And if I, if I didn't have that, you guys wouldn't know that I exist. <laughs> I wouldn't be here just chilling every Friday, Sunday, Tuesday night. Um, fucking around. Lucky number 13 comics. All or nothing. I'm going to go get the comics. I'm going to fix my eyeball. And I'm going to mute temporarily. So you guys just hang tight. And enjoy the little kitten sleeping in her coffin that you guys got her.
I have in fact returned. What are you guys up to? What are you doing? When she wakes, we will hear the walls. Nice. <laughs> Baltimore? Oh, Hellboy, okay. Imagine if Bram Stoker was Dracula in World War Z, the book, not the movie, had a baby raised during the Great War of Europe. That all sounds super metal, honestly. Thanks for the resub, Dr. Norp. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't even look at where we're at. Oh, God, yeah, we're still up there. That's fine. We still redeemed the uh, we we still re redeemed the cooking with grace. So that's fine. Let's find where it's at. Yes. Oh no! Well, that sucks. Shut, shut, shut. Um, I'm gonna take a shot, and then we're gonna pull out my comics. If that's cool, I just need a shot glass. I think. How is everyone? Right? How is everyone? You guys don't think that there's enough light. It's a little bit brighter. You can see. I don't know. It's all right. It's just what I have. <laughs> Not quite like sinister enough. I need to be like covered in black and like pauldrons and like the like, you know. I need to be that bright though. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I have I have scale mail, but like the scale mail, unfortunately, is not going to like if you've seen Mr. Sinister picture, like it's quite, quite literally like if you guys did. You, OK, so it should be in my notifications and it should also be an Instagram, like an actual photograph of Mr. Sinister. So like very just completely black like borderline corpse paint black and white man <laughs> i have to be actually like i'm going to be painted white very pasty <laughs> i want the cape do i know anyone who can make that cape no I could try to invest in some foam and, and, and cut it myself. An espresso martini sounds fantastic. That sounds so good. I kind of want that. I kind of want that. That sounds bougie. Evil. Yeah, the corporate shoulder pads. Well, okay, those epaulets, though. Those epaulets just got funded. Um, so like, right? So those actually, I would have to find either like some sort of body adhesive, like once they get here, I'll know, but I don't know if they actually are meant to actually be attached to something. So I'll either have to make an addition by hand sewing it onto a jacket of some kind, or I would have to use some sort of adhesive um to, to be able to stick them to my skin so that I would have those dragon scales 
attached as an accessory as opposed to a piece of, of clothing. Um, but now that it's gone, where is it? They're knitted. They're knitted, so they might have fabric underneath them, but they're not attached to anything. And I don't think that they already have any straps attached, so I think they, they're they modeled and they're um, knitted to be sewn onto something. Funny shit just happened. Tried to pull you up on the big TV screen in the living room for me and wifey, and my daughter saw you and started to say you disturb her. It's wonderful for me. I mean, it's working. It's working. <laughs> Boo! Man, I just ruined it. I ruined it. I threw it all out the window. She's not afraid anymore. Don't be afraid of me, child. <laughs> I'm too dark and brooding. Don't worry, Stang. You are both. It's for certain. You question both, and therefore, you think, therefore, you are. Both. <laughs> yes, you're, you are dazed and confused, darling. Am I even real? Is anything about me real? Did someone make me? <gasps> someone alter me? Take me apart and put me back together. Like a puppy. You'll never know. Are any of us real or is this the, just the Matrix? Well, <sighs> that's a good question. Whoever created you has a good imagination. <laughs> I am definitely real. Well, that certainty is fantastic, Penguin. Did I get coffee? Did I get coffee? Can I have another, please? <laughs> I need more than one. I hope you are really, or Queen will be very sad to never meet you. You know, I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I really want to go to TwitchCon. I'm going to try to fucking figure it out. Even if it takes a chunk, I'm just going to try. I'm just going to fucking try. Because there's going to be a lot of people there this year that I'll be like, you know what, Gray, if you don't fucking go, you're going to regret it. Satanist Jedi, quite the name. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, first time chat. You are excellent. Well, well phrased. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> A fig Newton of my imagination. So which of us is right? I don't know. We could both be right. You want to go this year, but bullfish keeps happening. I know, I know. I know. Well, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, comic books. They're right beneath me here, so I will pull them up. Hmm. Shoju is weak and sweet, and I needed a two. <laughs> How am I? I'm good. I'm good. Um... You're new here. You just popped in. Uh, we're celebrating 500 followers in six months. Um, I think that that is a pretty fast track. That's just a personal opinion since I'm not already famous. <laughs> what am I shooting? Um, it's nothing special. It's grapefruit uh, Jinro. It's a soju. It's like a, like a fruity rice wine. 
Um, I get it sometimes, not often. I kind of like sake a little bit more than shoju. But, um, yeah, welcome in, welcome in. For Friday, that's a big crowd. That is big. <laughs> Should take that red eye thing. What is what? What do you what do you mean? What it was that what? Is that an endowment? Butter toast. Butter toast. I don't know where you came from, but not only do you slay at Dead by Daylight, you are fun as hell as a nonverbal uh, entry. Like just popping in, hanging out, being silly, being good at the game, being fair. And then just popping in here with a $50 dono, like, what you need? Home slice? What do you need? What can I do for you? What can I do? Um, <sighs> what the hell is $50? Is it, and we can do, we can do kettlebell redeems. We can do some lifting. Um, we can do another word of the gray. For the newbies. You made me scared and shaken last night. <laughs> Listen, I was I was a bit quiet. I was a bit quiet because I think like um I had been streaming that whole day. So by the time I was killer, I was like, huh. Oh. Because it was I mean, I'm not used to what Queen does, Queen of Vikings. I'm not used to that sort of um schedule. And so I don't know why, but like, I just like sort of was in a very social, um, social mood yesterday. And so I did, uh, an unboxing for the coffin, uh, cat tree that was redeemed in throne. Um, and Rev has been literally laying in it like this entire time and yesterday. So she loves it. And that's exactly where I wanted her. So she's got this little coffin pedestal now that you guys can see her. Um, so we put that together and then I went straight into a stream with Queens and we did Ghost Watchers for a while. And then after Ghost Watchers, we transitioned straight into a co-stream with Bobby Bass and Maisie Linney. So it was like I was streaming for so long that like by the time we got to Dead by Daylight, I was just like, man, I'm so fried. I don't feel like I can do anything besides chase. And usually when it comes to Dead by Daylight, I love to chase because it's a perfect time to fluster people and see if they'll actually turn around and come to mama. But it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. And so it's just like, I think I was just a little bit like, oh, God. And RPD with the artist is like the worst. I love RPD as a survivor. I hate RPD as a killer. Downloaded Dead by Daylight, still learning. It's kind of a learning curve, but once you get it, it's like, it's just kind of, it's not always stroke of luck. Uh, once you start memorizing some of the perks that you like to use, you know, whether or not you want to have like a perception build, or if you want to have like a sabotaging build, or if you want to have a flashlight build, um, stuff to do gen, stuff to heal people quickly. Um, and then like I have Sable and I eventually want to figure out some of her basement perks because I don't really know how they work. I just know that they're sort of sacrificial in nature where like she'll take the pain to be able to be killed easier so that the rest of everything that has to be taken care of like gen, gen regression I think isn't a thing and so gen progression goes skyrockets and it gets way better. Um, with her sacrifice. And so she becomes broken, which means that she's really easy to kill. Um, but then everybody else can do like power gens and escape. So she's kind of like that, that sort of character, that's sort of Sable. And I think, I don't know if she's still alive. I think that while we're just shooting the shit, I'm pretty sure that Sass and Panda are, are they still, or no, Vaughn's on. Is Vaughn doing Dead by Daylight? He's doing fort. They're doing Fortnite. Uh, I'll never do Fortnite. I'm a, I feel like I would spend money in Fortnite. I haven't forgotten about the comics. They're sitting right here. We're just we're just chatting. We're just chatting. 
We're just chilling. Guys, 500 followers. It wasn't just me that did that. It wasn't just me. I'm only one person. <laughs> Will. I made Penang curry, so I've been munching on that all day. I don't know how long ago, but like I, I have had some today. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still waiting on fucking butter toast. What are you? What are you up to? You? What? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Hi, hey, hey. You know what? Okay, this is actually convenient. We were about to actually go through my comics. Um, that's the thing. They're going to do comic book shit. Um, and I put together a little wardrobe thing where even though I don't have any of the materials yet for the much anticipated and well redeemed Mr. Sinister Genderbend cosplay, I put something together. <laughs> so I already have the eyes. Um, and I feel like I can do a hell of a lot more. It's just that this is all I had available immediately. So welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. I am Grey as Dust. Um, your resident vampire, shapeshifter, what have you. We are celebrating today, this Friday, uh, 500 followers in six months. I think that's crazy. <laughs> I think that's insane. And I was giving a lot of credit to um, all of my friends who are already um, with big following and, and um, cordial enough to actually just promote me just because they feel like it, just because they uh, like what they see. So that's awesome. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for being in my space. And thank you for also letting me relish in your greatness. So, cheers to you and everyone who has dropped in and arrived. Um, because there are so many people here, I'm going to do another Word of the Grey for free and butter toast. Better figure out what that $50 is going to be for. Because I want to know. <laughs> and if I have to bring up stream elements, I will. I'll bring up stream elements. Um, but I'm going to pull out some comic books. Because we had a book redeem, and instead of a book redeem, I was like, listen, I have a box of comics, and people got me started on X-Men because Mr. Sinister, so. Stand by, I must check some. And I'm really hoping that I have been, okay. That is great. Okay. You recommend kettlebells? Of course you do, Maverick. Of course you do. Oh, Butter Toast, you, you donated to TwitchCon? And hopefully a badass brooding cape. Fuck yes. Yes, I do intend to try. Um, I've been trying to get a couple of commissions for, for leather work for, for a bit. Um, it's just that, you know, that stuff takes time, especially like artists and genuine leather stuff that lasts stuff that you have to treat some stuff that you have to break in that sort of thing where I just, it takes, I take cosplay seriously. So like, I have to fucking slay this now. You guys gave me the push, but I have to deliver. And so this is only just the beta. This is just like the beginning stage, right? <laughs> Hello, Hyrule. How many people? They're just chilling, 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 chilling. Okay, so we are going to do another Word of the Grey for everybody that showed up, and then we're going to pull out some comics. Grey, you're going to nail it. Oh, thanks, Seth. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay. Yes, so for everyone who has never seen my face before, generally you're going to get pulled into a couple of things on this channel. Um, sometimes we have wholesome talks where we just kind of go off on tangents about the reality of the way things are, the way people feel. Um, don't really hide that stuff. 
Um, so in terms of trigger warnings, right, if that doesn't really fit your fancy, that's fine. But cathartically, a lot of discussions have ended up helping people, right? So we delve into words because they're very cathartic in nature. So we tend to try to pick out the best words. And I have found this tiny little book that I contribute every stream. You get a freebie and then, you know, there's usually a paywall. But um, I'm going to do two freebies just because there's so many people in here. That um, this is the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows. It is a tiny little dictionary that is specific to uh, words and definitions that pertain to like unusual vocabulary, um, eclectic thoughts, um, and unexpected definitions. And um, most of the time I end up flooring everyone in chat with the accuracy of some of these. So if any of them pang and kind of hit you in the stomach a little bit, right? touch you in the sternum and be like, hey, I'm here. This is an idea. That's what these words are for, and that's what these words do. And that's why I like to give them to people, because sometimes that little, that little jab is enough to identify with something. And that's what books do. But this is like microdosing a book, right? You're taking the mantras straight out of the verbatim. And you're like, fuck, that, that reads. Fuck, that reads. <laughs> I don't know, you guys can say that if you want to. Most, most of the time, everybody's like, that fucks. But like, no. Uh, words, man. Words. So. Pardon me for having a film over my eyes. I'm going to need a flashlight for my book here. All the spotlighting is in my face. <laughs> Oh, I think we've done heart more before. We've done the un the unsharp mask. We've done Wembane. Why don't we do Keta? Keta is K E T A. It is a noun. For a random image from your distant past that leaps back into your attention, that doesn't mean much of anything, but is somehow able to keep fighting against the current, swimming back and forth in your mind, still developing. This Keta. Um, and sometimes Dr. Norp will post, or Gigi will post the verbatim, um, in the side chat, in case anybody wants to take that definition and hold on to it. Fair enough. Thank you, Sass. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful Kiwi. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> I know, I know. It'll be a work in progress for sure. Take care. Take care, lovely. Okay, some comic books. Some fucking comic books, guys. Thank you, Butter Toast, for the TwitchCon donation. That's really awesome of you. Genuinely. <sighs> oh, ASMR. That guy, I saw it. I saw the redeem. I saw it. Okay, do you want me to talk about comics and whisper? Is that where we're get? Is that the level we're getting to right now? Is that where we're at, guys? <sighs> Dedication to the craft. Thank you, Loop. Thank you, Loop. I appreciate that. Get a, gathered us all in the darkness. Yes, yes. You're all, all my little dark kittens. <laughs> Was, well, see, yes, that, that is true. That is true. I know, but I didn't catch it fast enough, I suppose, for the redeem. I Yeah, I know. I got it. I get it now, but I can't go back. Unless you want another word of the fucking, if you want another word of the gray, but it would be 
significantly shorter if you think about it than, than me just like talking in a whisper about like one of the comic books that happens to be in this mystery. So like, is that going to be okay? Good with that. Do it for comic. I feel like some people would really like that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Just appreciate your voice. Okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm trying to fix my stream manager because it's not updating. I have to have like two chats so that at no point is it completely like eclipsed by something else. I'm up here. Uh, I have to create a timer. I'm going to do a timer. I need to do like a better notification for my timer to screen. It has to be something like gross and annoying in the morning, otherwise I won't wake up. Oh. Oh, thanks for the resub, Jamaz. Is that six months? Six months. Did you just get the jar? I think you might. You got the jar. You got the jar. That's awesome. Leveling up in this bloody, bloody world. Cheers. Okay. Comic. Comics. What do we got? Necrotia. It's so dark in here. I can't even see. Has anyone got this one? It's a legacy. It's a legacy. We got Colossus and Psylocke. And yeah, of course, we got fucking Scott. Oh, I've got Age of X. Yeah. It's a pretty nice one. I love Gambit style in this one. That's probably why I bought it, honestly. <laughs> The artwork in this one is incredible, in my opinion. It's so crisp. Wolverine. I've, I I used to have a pretty heavy bias to Wolverine, right? Like Wolverine and Rogue were like a thing for me. Not I'm not like shipping them. I just mean like they were so troubled. I feel like I just probably identified with it at a young age of being like, yeah. <laughs> All that fucking hardship, right? <laughs> oh, hi, Rule. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're so beautiful, too. You've been so nice to me, like, twice today. You're so lovely. Please take care. Please take care. <sighs> Congrats on five. Thank you. Thank you. It's crazy. It's crazy we're here already. It really is. Um, here is Uncanny X-Force. Apocalypse Solution. Has anybody read any of these? Do any of these look familiar to you? Could give a lecture on trauma. I know. I know. I did a, um, I did a rogue like a legacy rogue cosplay at one point where she actually has forest green and white as opposed to like the lime green and yellow bullshit. Um, and she had a really, really cool design and I think her X-Men belt was even silver. So she, that's the one that I did and like right at the end, my roommate at the time, her cat had spilled like red wax from like a wax melter like all over it and I was so mad I tore it up <laughs> just tore it up and just gave up I was like no <laughs> no you ruined it and then I dyed my hair red so then it was Phoenix for a while 
because Phoenix is crazy in the best way, you know? It wasn't even growing up. I got into comics after I started college. Oh, I think this was a gift. I think I, I think this one was a gift. A house of mystery. Um, honestly, it's kind of got. Some angsty like teen death vibes in it. A little bit. Magics. Right? Kind of interesting. To be werewolves. I don't really remember this one, though. <laughs> I've, like, repressed some of these, I think. Another favorite. Uh, Moral Legacy. Salvage. Told you I was on Legacy. I told you. The, the art, the artwork in Legacy is just so fucking crisp, man. Oh, how do you refuse those eyes, man? How do you refuse him? When everybody was crushing on Batman, I had a crush on Gambit. <laughs> he was so uh, um, mischievous and romantic, um, but also an asshole. So I also got Saga, and I really actually don't know if I enjoyed them. I read them. I don't really remember them, though. It was so many years ago when I got these, because they were really popular for a while. Obviously, the blood is what attracted me. <laughs> Sorry, the blood. <laughs> the blood. But it's, from what I can remember, it's like this couple that has, like, a messiah child that's, like, trying to go through the universe without dying. And there's this, like, crazy spider lady that almost looks like a drider. Um, ooh, I found her. She's crazy. <laughs> Wait, I have to censor something. Okay. Okay. Look at this artwork. It's crazy. Drider lady. Spider mommy. You love Gambit and X Men ninety seven. You better be right. How what what streaming platform is it on? Because I don't want to be late in this bullshit. I feel like I should be a part of this conversation. I don't own serve like services. This is also another gift. Death Vigil. Very um, seemingly goth. Keep in mind that some of these have been sitting in here for a long time. But we're going to go through them. Because <laughs> I brought the box down here. Disney, it's on fucking Di I don't want to pay for Disney Plus. <laughs> Anybody have a solution to that problem? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. The one that's no longer in print, I believe. This rare item right here is still mine. <sighs> it's so good. I feel the Belmont in my blood. <laughs> oh, shit. I love Castlevania. Okay. 
Ooh, witches. Somebody tell me someone's touched witches. I want a little music box that plays Vampire Killer. I want one. Send it to me. <laughs> Give me the link. That's so cute. That's so cool. I also thought about a sound redeem that was going to be like like the original 8-bit track. Because <laughs> I thought it would be funny, but I think it would also annoy the piss out of me eventually. I'd be like, okay, guys. Fucking Castlevania. <laughs> so. I refrained. But look at this. Look at this life. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So good. Yes, uh, main recommendations, I guess. I think this one's one of the newest ones as opposed to like the older stuff, right? But witches. Witches is a good one. Okay, here we go. Here's some older ones. Here's some older shit. Uh, what what kind of what kind of X Men fan was I? I don't know. Who was um, who might have been my favorite? I'm not really sure. I I can't like decide. Like, do you guys? Are, are you guys like seeing a trend at all? Like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, which one's this one? I think someone gave me this one. This is uncanny. Uncanny. Old fashioned. You've gone rogue. I didn't have like a slight obsession with rogue. Psh, no, Psh, no. See, none of these are like, you know, s they're not going to pay my bills. They're just fun to have. Um, here is the one I was talking about where it's like all the women. I don't know how I felt about it. I don't really think I cared that much. I don't think I did. It was like a reboot of X-Men now. Um, and there's a, like a whole series. I think I have at least one through 14 of all of these. I just keep going there all the same. So here's Psylocke. And, um, oh, this was the fire girl's name. I always forget her because I never grew up with her. She's a recent addition. This one. I don't know. What is her name? We should know. Can't think of it. Uh, Firestar. Firestar. Big Star Fire. Firestar. Hey, Marvel. I have, I think I have some Raven issues, obviously. I didn't really delve into DC that much. Not like, there was just such a stigma. I always like did the whole nonconformist thing where I was just so tired of everybody going for the same thing and calling it good. And I was like, okay, well, explain yourself. And no one at the time that I knew could explain themselves and why DC was better than Marvel. And like, this is my opinion, right? Neither of them are better. Both of them clearly have different angles for what their purposes are, what superpowers do, whether or not their origins are godlike in nature, right? Um, gods trying to be men or men's try my men trying to be gods? Which one is it? Um, completely two different stories. They're unrelated and shouldn't be compared. Yeah. Just all women. It's all the babes, right? Like, it's all the women. And I was, you know, at first I was like, yeah, women power only feature the women. And then I was like, where did the other ones go? Like, where did they go? 
And why is it about a baby? Like, okay, sure, yeah. You put all the women superheroes together and instead of, I don't know, taking down a big adversary and, like, fighting a war, you're trying to, like, save a child from imminent death because it's important. I was like, come on, what kind of, why? Why are you gonna, why are you gonna pull those tropes in like an idiot? Raven. Huh. Yeah, which is like the actual issue. Is this the first one? It is, it's issue, oh, this one's issue six. I know I have one through six though. I have the beginning. Because what they told you when you actually like go to comic shops is like they say if you have first issue or first issue variant, you're like in like the right space to eventually be able to sell it. And it's just like, okay, cool. But you know, most of the time I actually just did it to read it. More witches. Yeah, yeah. Some body, body horror for you. Where's the sender? There it is. This is the sender. Look at how fucking cool that is. Uh, big Ghost in the Shell fan. I have a Ghost in the Shell tattoo on my thigh. In case you guys didn't know that. So. Um, Descender was a really cool story too. I think I think I liked Descender more than I liked um, Saga. Honestly, the designs are immaculate. Like they're so cool. They're so cool. So that's probably out in volumes now. Where the hell is all my Sandman? Cold spots. I don't remember that. I guess I started with collecting cold spots also. Is this first variant or first? She one, two, and three. Yep. One, two, and three. I don't actually. I should probably look up. Where the hell is all my Sandman? You guys know that song? Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream, make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Give her the two words of roses and clover, and tell them that a lonely nights are over, Sandman. I'm so alone, don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Oh, Sandman. So, if you guys actually watched the live action, it was pretty good. <laughs> Shut up. I wasn't trying yet. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you guys. I'm only fucking with you guys. All right. So those are my comics. I used to have a lot more, but what happened was I got in the cycle of like buying them and then selling them and it was stupid. Because you really should just buy the comic books that you like and hold on to them because they're important to you. <laughs> Instead of just trying to go through the train. <laughs> no. No. You're wrong, but I'll let you say it. So those are my comics. Wait. Uh, let me just put them away first. Way out of view. Hydrate. Oh, die. Chills. Chills. Are you full of shite? 
Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Damn it. Okay, they're on now. I heard it in my own brain because I know what you redeemed. <laughs> I watched a video of somebody actually singing that song um, in like a car parking lot. And I was like, man, she belts. She belts. Hello, Hydro Skull. Hello. We are celebrating 500 followers and you were a part of that. You've spent too many points. <laughs> well, there's no sense in hiding them now. Now that I got you guys to actually start like interacting. This it took forever for me to get sound redeems, but like I just was so I was twirling over trying to learn things that I didn't realize how easy some of the stuff was. So sound redeems luckily can be a little bit more malleable if anyone has recommendations, right? I feel like I need to stretch. I don't have a stretch redeem. <laughs> so I feel like I would get in trouble with it. You can't look at my Instagram. Well, why the hell not? What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong? Thank you, doob doob. Makes a man want to go mommy, as he should. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you guys want, do you guys want a, a quick tour? Do you guys want a fucking game? Do you want to play a game? It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. We haven't started any games. We're shooting the shit. We're just, like, fucking around. A 40 hours badass collection of comics. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? That's smart. Sleep sounds nice, honestly. Would you like to play a game? Um, you know, we have progress to making control. I've been saving that for you. Everybody's been playing. Oh, damn it. Everybody's been playing Dead by Daylight or like Lethal Company or. And and everybody ended stream too, so like we're chilling with uh we're chilling with Flicker Spark and uh Latinos versus spooky shit. I think. Ishness is on, Scarlet's on, of course. That's a typical Friday for Scarlet. I was looking for the song and it didn't pop up yet. Maybe there's a delay. Just bought Sea of Thieves. I feel like Maisie's, Maisie, Maisie and Dube are the only people that can get me to play that game. Oh, Widley, thanks. Or wait, no, Hydroskull, thanks for giving a subscription to Widley. Sometimes like with like the bouncing letters. Um, for some reason, it always makes it seem like those two things overlap sometimes. And I didn't hear the Silent Hill song, which is weird. Did it go off? And I just didn't see it. I turned on my desk audio, so that's not an issue. That's not an issue. Celebration of you, you enjoy. Oh my gosh. Gideon the Ninth. I haven't read those series, no. What's it about? Sound alerts aren't working. Beautiful. Do I know why? No. I actually don't because Um, I'm gonna try. I'm just, this is a test. This is a test.
Put me in mind of Jean Claude from Anita Blake series in female form. Anita Blake sounds familiar, but I don't know. I don't know it like I don't actually, I'm not confident in what that might be. But I feel like I saw somebody write that before. Was that still you that wrote that earlier? Wolfen? Uh, testing something. Hello. I feel like my mic is up way higher. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Varco. What are we? Advanced audio properties. So that worked for me. One more time. Huh. I don't know. I'm not sure what the issue is. Yes, there was an echo for a second because I was trying. I muted myself and then. No. It's it's quite simply like an obvious thing where no matter like what I change in the input for desktop audio, it's just telling me. Um, monitor only and output. Uh, I'm gonna load up a game. Do you guys wanna do a poll or do you care if I choose? I'm just going to choose. I'm doing the live. And I think there's a lot of people that aren't available at the moment. So we are going to open Central. Hello, Sugarless Valentine. We're troubleshooting some audio issues. This is your celebration. There's a lot of games that we could play. There's a lot of games that we could play, but I want to make some progress because I want to get to the medium and I don't know how much more of this game we have, but we have a lot to accomplish. And there's still no audio, but I'll be able to hear something continuously 
with this transition. Um, okay. All right, you guys ready? So I'm going to try to troubleshoot this by having some background noise. I can hear that, but I can't see it in the desktop audio, so I'm trying to fix that now. Because I can hear the redeems now, it's just that you guys can't hear the redeems. Uh, okay, here's a test. was awful that was like that was like feedback that was somehow some kind of feedback are you okay is everybody okay that sounded like like a fucking concussion or some shit that was crazy ugh oh, yeah so can you guys hear the game audio then I, I, that hurt my headache. I know. I'm sorry. I was trying to troubleshoot that as fast as possible because I heard what you heard. Um, that was like ringing in my ears for a bit. So I have no idea how that could have happened. Uh, well... Oh God, those are so loud. <sighs> yeah, that cut real deep. Okay, well, at least I fixed it. <laughs> at the expense of our ears and maybe our sanity. Um, since uh, I know that I've been sort of walking around and stuff, but I think that I'm just gonna uh, mute um, my audio for just a second and uh, take a bite to eat. Um, out of my fridge. And then we're gonna commence some of this game and we'll conclude at 10 p.m. Uh, we got plenty of shit to do now that we can fly, so. I will be right back.
I had to do it for the bit. All right. Mmm. Honestly, well, even down to the diet, your blood tastes different based on your diet. Not just the blood types themselves. Some are sweet. Some are salty. And some can be bitter and revolting. So, if you ever go to like a plasma clinic, if you guys have ever donated, I, I used to donate all the time. Um, when people have plasma that is so cloudy that you're not necessarily sure if it's a liquid or a solid, <laughs> don't touch that. <laughs> when the blood has plasma that's clear, like like mellow yellow. Like, like that's as clear as plasma can get, right? Because plasma has a hue to it. Um, but if it if it looks like a liquid, then that's where you want to drink. <laughs> a diabetic, oh my gosh. Um, what movie? Blade Two. These dudes taste like Cheetos. <laughs> Temp and type. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. That is really that is really funny funny wids. That's funny. You have experience. <laughs> Is butter toast still here? Hmm. Wanna see some kettlebells? You guys wanna see some kettlebells? I forgot my redeems though. I forgot what the weight. I feel like I have to see where I wrote the shit down. Okay, there we go. Okay. I didn't forget. I didn't forget, did I? You know? So. I do the heavier ones. Make it a little bit shorter. How about a nice dose of liberty? <laughs> so let me take a look at my blood buffs poster. I'm just gonna double check how I weighted weighted this. You got it, Maverick. I'll remember. <laughs> Comply with me. There we go. No, we are in the wrong. Okay, so my blood buffs, I did $5 per... Five reps of 8K. Okay, $10 is five reps. 8K. Five times five is 25. You guys want 25 
reps with the 12 Ks. 25, okay. So while we're doing this, I'd tell you another exclusive, right? I showed you the sandbags. Well, I mean, one of the sandbag, it's like a snip. It, it's not a snatch. It's more of a clean like this. Uh, we could also, I could also do one legged deadlifts with those. But for uh, post thronathon donations, it would be redeemable to be able to do actual full body swings. Um, so I will do 25 um, overhead press with the 12 Ks. These are the 12 Ks. And the microphone is in the way, so I will move it. These are my 12 Ks. In all technicality, 12 K. If you guys can still hear me from over there. Okay, so 26.5 pounds a piece. And then I have AKs, which is like 17 pounds ish. For throwing this stuff around. Um, but in terms of technique and things that you can do. Move that over there like that. Um, you can do alternating and you can do movement. And I'm about to make a shit ton of noise, apparently. So when you start with a kettlebell swing, if I'm in the right direction here, you start in a position like this and you bring it up and you swing like that, okay? Obviously, this is pretty light for me. I have a uh, something around 35 pounds as opposed to this one. That's why I have two, right? Because you're swinging and you're swinging, you're swinging. There's also side to side, which is this is kind of like a shoveling, right? So I can show you a whole bunch of stuff, and eventually you can incorporate all kinds of shit to your daily. Until you get both going, obviously. So, if you want to learn more from me, stretches, uh, swings, flow. I can do a headstand, but I don't think I would be brave enough to do it live yet, honestly. <laughs> Been a while, so I do increments of ten. Oh, we got a timeout. You've been put on timeout. Did he use JC? Forty more to go. My ass. We're not doing one per dollar. <laughs> Are we being auto modded by a bunch of things? What is happening? Oh, I've never had one of those before. That's kind of shitty in the middle of this. At least I don't really have to like notice it much. I've never had a bot raid. Are they bad? Are they like a bad omen? Democracy. <laughs> oh my gosh.
I need five more. Oh yeah, the bot raids are for the famous people. <laughs> Appropriate, I guess. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, And there you have it. <sighs> What'd you do? What'd you do? What you do, you have to know. Good, there's a hype train. There's a hype train. Oh my god, you guys. Hmm. Holy shit. Just went a little bit. Ah. Uh. Who did it? Who's the culprit? Stream elements, tell me. <laughs> Butter toast gifted 10 subs. Damn, thank you. Thank you, is this good entertainment? <laughs> Do I not entertain? <sighs> Some people tell me I'm too much. Um. Are you not entertained? My friends are mad at me because I'm perfect. 100% hype train. <sighs> Gifted a sub. Gifted a sub. I was gonna show you guys the little ones. These are the little ones. These are the seventeens. So you can swing them around if you want to. Swing them. You pretend that they're swords. Just swing them around. They are fools. All of them are fools. <laughs> That's like the villain one-liner, right? You gotta be good at that. You fools! <laughs> Skull crusher. Crush all those motherfucking skulls. Crush all. Guys, <laughs> I have done both. I actually, um, when I, when I owned a house, well, I, I didn't own a house. I lived in a house that someone else owned. I was supposed to be on the, the, you know, the mortgage. But anyway, when I lived in a house during COVID, we actually built. A 10 foot axe throwing target in the backyard, and I would throw axes regularly. Um, and I do have throwing daggers, but unfortunately, 
Um, I think based on TOS standards, because the blades are literally just printed metal, that I wouldn't be able to show any of my Smith & Wesson on screen. So I do have throwing knives. I have quite a few, actually. I'm not necessarily going to say I'm good at throwing knives. I would say that I will hit the target if um, the target's soft enough <laughs> from about 16 feet. I can throw three axes and uh, 16 feet and stick something. I suppose. Under pressure. So that's, I don't know. I know, right, Penguin? I know. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay, I'm still going to probably stick to my guns in terms of ending stream at 10 p.m. My body is finally longing for sleep, and I don't think that I'm going to ignore that. This hype train is crazy. A level four? A level four hype train. Oh, man, we are getting closer to that sub goal. I'm... <laughs> it's so intimidating. I want to do it, but man... Having a cosplay and a song to accomplish in a small amount of time might be a little bit stressful. I appreciate you guys nonetheless. I'm glad that you guys are here. And I love it when like the little thing turns green when you just, like watch it go up. That's crazy that it does that. It's pretty. <laughs> it's a pretty thing. Thank you, Maverick. Um, I don't know either. I think we got to a level seven before. I don't think I've ever been to a ten. But I don't I don't know. I I can't. I'm not I don't want to make a claim. I don't remember. I have a really bad memory, guys, if you haven't noticed. That's why I'm a really good like rambler. I always forget where my origin was to make the point they meant to make. Think eight? Okay. The record is in the hundreds, actually. Rebelon! Yeah. Say my song! Um, okay. I'm going to potentially close that. We got the game back. Woo! We can do so much stuff now, guys. The highest you've ever seen was Sass completing a level 10 or 11. Maisie's been to a 7, like a... She's been at least like a level 14 hype train. Level 9? Level 9's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Guess what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do a goth dance party. Everybody better be ready to shake your head, right? You do the goth bob. Ready? There it is. I want to see dancing emotes, guys. I don't know why I like this song. I do, though. It's like the right kind of mantra, like you're doing everything right. Guys, don't dance with their arms. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna look up this song eventually. <laughs> 
Level five high train, you guys. This is crazy. Boom. <laughs> oh, some of these are really cool emotes. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me. That was really fun. That was fun. Look at all this material we got. Uh, we were dying a lot, I think. Uh, we didn't actually get anything accomplished last time because I think Maisie Baby popped in and she was like, I love the flossing Nadines. They're so good. I hope you guys are uh, I hope you guys are excited for Nadine coming back in a one shot. Not sure when that's gonna happen. She's just, it's still in the making, but man, I was there when it got redeemed and I was like This Nadine is queen, bitch. Nadine be queen. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So we could do this. I think that's kind of what I want to do. And then we can do the flying one. Um, I think. Can we just go here? Does she have the pill for me? We should do the pill. What uh? Oh, I don't need. Fill the sealed containment active threshold. Isn't that where we're at? It must be. No, no, don't land over there. Fuck. Shit, this is gonna hurt me over here. Shit. That was a shitty start. Thanks for the hype train, guys. That's awesome. That was fun. That was a fun little dance party. I finished synthesizing the yeah. samples. I don't know if I've met them yet. Arty, Arty. Then go and find the source. Oh, okay. You never mind. I know who Auntie begin is. Begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Ugh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Ugh. Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Now go. Oh, we can continue. We can investigate the pit, guys. Yeah, the janitor. Yeah, RT, yeah. Thanks for the information. Or we can do the central operative and get more on Dylan. Oh, we could also do the fridge. We should actually go relieve that guy of the fridge bit. Okay, before we do the pit, we should... Um... We'll just go up. We'll just do that. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for lurking. Thank you for everybody who's still chilling.
Well. I like the shatter in the pierce, honestly. I I don't know. I I don't have the patience for like weak fast guns that don't do anything, and the charge seems really uncontrolled, in my opinion. I thought that I would like it, but I don't right now. Anyway, maybe if after it's leveled up. Uh, where the hell is one of these things? Dimensional research. Well, where is the... I'll just go to the one over here. Protective studies, huh? Well... Oh, okay. Go with the prettiest weapon, yeah. So if we go to containment, we fast travel to, um... Go to containment, and we go back to the upper panopticon, we should be able to find that dude that was like, I can't stop looking at this refrigerator. Oh, nice. Well, that's kind of witty. Cool. Thank you for counteracting that. That's a, it's a good thing that it's only been the first time. <sighs> for something like that. I don't think it's that common. Hmm. You know what else I need to fix?
Why did it change back? Don't do that. I told you what to change it to. Yeah, nope, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, let's go find this refrigerator guy. I don't know if he's downstairs or if he's up here. I think he's right here, actually. Keep them all. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Just hang on, Philip. I might fall to my death, guys. Oh my gosh, that was pure luck. That was totally planned. That was totally planned. What do you mean? Silence. The fortified unit. Let me in. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. It's absolutely losing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess what? I can fast travel. Did it take in the elevator? Hello? Jesse? I'm back. 
I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesse. So first you're doing something. Philip. <sighs> if I look away. like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? I'm sorry, what? What? God. Shit. That didn't work. You have to like hit it just so. That wasn't good, guys. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to just chart over. There's a sweet spot. There's a sweet spot for sure, honestly. I try that again. I I get the gist of it. It's just that I might need more power. More power. Hello, Jesse. Jesse, the friend is doing something. Philip. <gasps> I look away. It hurts me. <laughs> this sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? The fuck? God. So former makes holes in the floor. Oh, oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, Gearhead. Thanks, thanks there, bud. Appreciate that, bud. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> Objects of power. I'm gonna try one more time. Hours of three. If I die again. Hello? We're gonna do something else. No, you're all good. So good. 
Do you think? So much more satisfying with sounds, huh? <sighs> All right. If I look away, it hurts me. Go slap with its own eyeball. I know. Don't oh, fuck. I mean, I get it, right? And then just avoid the arm now, and do little dances, right? Woo! Do a different thing. Oh god. I don't feel like I suck at this game. <laughs> Resident Evil makes you feel like you're really, really good at games, apparently. <laughs> Clean BS on that. I know. I'm getting the hang of it already. Okay, we'll do it one more time. I still never got that thing out of my eye, and I think it's because there's just like one specific eyelash that's pushing on my contact lens. It's lovely. The pleasures of entertainment. Ooh. Yeah, 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 you get eaten. My turn. I've got no fucks to give. Okay. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. You have the D DLC? I think so. I think so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no. Okay, why didn't I block from any of that? I'm basically dead though, that's a problem. I'm almost dead guys, there's nothing that's gonna heal me. Getting owned, owned, owned. Keep going for the hardest ones. It's like if you if you take a hiatus from this game, you're gonna have a high learning curve getting back from being rusty. Reset? No, don't reset the death counter. You mock me. <laughs> death is in love with me. I can't help but meet it frequently. <sighs> Is 
There's other stuff we can do. Why don't we try for that flying thing? Um, where that at? Where that? If we were to change the mission to. I don't remember getting old friends. Oh, Arish. Okay. Arish did that. Kill them all. Who cares? Ooh, it is an eyelash. <laughs> Quite the counter. Put a record on it. Use the token in the jukebox. I thought I did that. I thought I did that. I did that part. I must not have done it right. Okay, fridge duty is right here. Old growth was investigating the pit, so we can still investigate the pit, technically. Because we know that that one guy is not going to go anywhere. With basically being eaten every time I encounter him. Um, investigating the safe room. So... The safe room. Where is it? Where is it? I mean zoom. I didn't know you can zoom this whole time. I wish you could tra track it on the map. There's a outskirts of love containment sector. Ooh, I think it's this. You can get a gecko terrarium and F76. I played F76 and I really, really didn't like it, but I played it when it opened, right? The world, the whole thing was a fluke, the open world. It was like, everybody just wanted to be an independent asshole instead of actually building communities and doing what you were supposed to in the game. They would just take all your shit and they would deplete all of the stores and like, it wasn't a good system, and everybody was fucking mean. But if things change, right? Like, I'm a huge Fallout fan. Like, I love Fallout 4. It was like, four years of college was Fallout 4. In like, New Vegas, and 3. I would love a vault suit. That would be so fun. Um, there's a cosplayer. Lightning cosplay. She just made a really good one. Um, I don't think this is where I'm thought to take us. This is parapsychology. out
What do you mean? So, what do you mean? Which you wanted to make leather for your next con, like a like a leather piece, or you wanted to do a sinister cosplay? <sighs> yeah. No. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like that kind of mentality in games. If I want to be pestered like that, like they might as well just be NPCs. You know? I'm trying to remember where that's the safe space was. Still getting used to that. Okay. Astral exhibition, central research, parakinesiology is that way. But like. No, it probably should have been that way. But there's a fast travel spot. So I might as well just go find the fast travel spot. I just uh, didn't show up for the right one yet. <sighs> I wish that Nerex was in chat. I feel like he sent me something that I should know about in this room. There's something about this room. But what was it though? Somebody go get Narex. <laughs> Somebody fetch Narex. What was it? I feel like there's an object of power of some kind over here. But I don't know. Or at least like something to pick up. Unless I grabbed it already. Right. Hypnosis lab. Guys, I don't know if we've been here. This is what Narek's told me about. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there, mesmerized by it. Here's a different object of power, okay. Eric's hi. Somebody 
went to go get you, but I found the hypnosis lab that you had instructed me to. So... Just taking a look at some things that need to be done. So the door is locked and I did change the terminal to what I could imagine is the right button, but what's wrong? What's wrong with it? Who did it? Whitley. Fucking Whitley. So, it still says it's locked. Uh, it's, it's my scary tactics. <laughs> the scare tactics is actually purpose for a game that's supposed to scare me, not this. <laughs> Um, it's gotta be this one, so what's the deal here? <laughs> naughty, naughty. They're terrible. They're so loud. They're on 100%. I need to turn down the volume for them. What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? Oh, there's shit back there. Oh, it's the opposite of what I have chosen then. That must be right. I did it the opposite. Let me do that. See, that's what I see in that, or not that. And then there's like no sides. That should be it. Ah. Oh. Is it... <sighs> Where are the collectibles? Correspondence? Anything about the hypnosis lab? Is this bathroom complaint? Nothing. Okay, case files. Okay, so this is not the anchor. This is not the globe. Sounds like this mannequin. That's good. It's not the flamingo. Which one is this? What is it? I 
it's not that. It's not that. World event item. A swan boat. Welcome, new follower. Some random vampire. <laughs> Welcome. The bottom left and right are not thick enough. What do you mean they're not thick enough? What is this item? Look at this. Oh! Oh, there's an outline that I wasn't looking at. I just wasn't, you know, I'll, I'll learn. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this one. Is this harder or easier? Or do I just... Gold enemies, huh? Low health can be seized by enemies? What does that even mean? <laughs> you guys just keep watching me die. This is so dumb. They don't. Pray tell, what is your favorite character? Jesse, honestly. <laughs> I think that her, like the actress that they chose, she's very expressive. Okay. Uh can I just, like, snipe this asshole and just, like, before he notices me? Why am I, why am I a two-bit shot? Why am I a two-bit shot? Why was that a, why was that a headshot? I don't know. With a pistol? Really? You gonna do that? No. Where the fuck did you show up anyway? It doesn't even count with my distance. I can't snipe him. That's so stupid. Still no.
Well, at least falling doesn't like, you know. I just, did I just create an ally? How am I so weak? How am I so weak? Explain that to me. Like somebody fucking explain it to me. That's cool to have mind control, but why the fuck am I so weak, Nerex? I just leveled up my health. How am I a two-bit shot? How? Somebody tell me. Somebody fucking tell me. Hey guys, if I die 10 times, I'm gonna try to finish this off by, by 10 o'clock here. Come on. I just get too rusty in between. appears. Why do I keep falling there? <laughs> I just want to die. I just want to die. <laughs> Be patient and hang tight and go farther back where they can't shoot you. just happen there shit no what I only need one soldier I made like three soldiers and it didn't do the same thing okay mind control make allies clearly the golden thing can be defeated by the power of friendship I love it and hate it okay so that's our first object of power I'm not completely incompetent. I should have listened to this, though. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, 
injury, personal injury, corporeal entangling, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the x-ray light box, is purely voluntary. Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? Yeah. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Their brains were fried when I took over the object. Does that mean they're all dead? Oops. Thank you guys one more time for everybody who stuck around to everybody who stayed with my gameplay um everybody who has ever liked or shared or uh contributed to the spread of um my content um it's kind of like just in a process of the things that i've been trying trying to achieve and just just trying to be myself as well uh, sometimes you get lost in the algorithm, um, even when you're not necessarily trying for fame, just making sure that everybody's aware of the schedule and uh, coming up with new ideas and staying interesting and relevant and um, being well versed in any like social occurrences or, you know, things that <sighs> things that, you know, you don't always put energy into. So um, thanks, guys, for hanging out. Um, I think that Twitch is a really good environment and, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I had like a social media, uh, following prior to Twitch. It's kind of really just been built here. So, um, if you like what you see and you enjoy my content, if you like me as a spokesperson, um, you find humor in <laughs> some of my reactions and frustrations um right it's just like oh my god like why couldn't it be easier right i'm i'm i like the struggle because you know usually like a lot of video games sometimes they end up really easy and i feel like control is really throwing me for a loop here for how long it's taking and how difficult things are and it don't let up it doesn't let up so um you know i just have to get good real real fast so why don't we take a look why don't we take a look see at who who is currently live excuse me um i went to the wrong button of course we're left with the trio you know what she's got 79 viewers going but uh, I don't have anyone else currently listed, so you guys are gonna go say hi to Wheezy. I'm gonna send Jan over uh, in her direction. Um, not necessarily sure what she's up to, um, but I think the subathon stuff is um, just, you know, she's chugging away. I think they're playing that virtual golf game that I played with Queen the other day. Uh, it's actually really frustrating. And, and sometimes you get really, you know, perfect hole in one or like a birdie. Um, and sometimes it's, it's just shit. And I got like, oh man, I totally tanked my score on like one because I didn't know where the flag was. Um, <laughs> got sidetracked. 500 followers in six months is a crazy ass feat. Um, and people remind me regularly that it is unusual to have that kind of following <laughs> so quickly. So I do not take that lightly. 
and I do put a lot of, um, you know, weight and expectation in, in trying to come up with, um, ideas, <laughs> um, and then be open to discussion and, and give as much as I possibly can in terms of the information I have available. So, um, thank you for absorbing it like a sponge. Um, happy Friday. I will see you all, hopefully, on Sunday, circa 4 p.m., 6 p.m. start time central. Um, I don't necessarily know. Sometimes I end up starting earlier on Sundays just because I just get ready too quickly. Or, or you know, like I'm just like ready by 4, and I'm like, oh, shoot, now what do I do? I can just start stream. <laughs> so um, there's going to be, you know, in terms of uh, some camera rigging, making sure that you guys all have a visibility in my kitchen. But um, I will be cooking on Sunday. Uh, and likely my, my mother will be present in the audience um, because she's always wanted to see something like that out of me. So um, hopefully you guys will come and enjoy that. It'll be super low-key. I don't know what I'm cooking yet, but it's going to be something healthy probably. It's going to have mushrooms in it. I'm probably going to have shrimp in it. I just haven't decided what dish. So that being said, please take care. Drink an extra glass of water because I know I left you thirsty. And have a good fucking night. Thanks, guys. <laughs>